there is nothing quite like a classic fall football Saturday in Lincoln, and that's what we've got today. A matchup of two different styles of quarterbacks scrambling Austin Arnott of the Cyclones, Zach Lee, the pocket pastor for the Huskers. Lincoln, Nebraska is the site. Big 12 College Football Saturday presented by Phillips HD is today Iowa State on the road taking on the Nebraska Cornhuskers. We had a guy that's under the spotlight at Iowa State. Grant Mahoney, the place kicker, gets into it. High end over ender over to the far side. Niles Paul, the wide receiver, and we are underway. Past the 20, good block to the 25, and breaks a tackle all the way out to the 35-yard line. Good field position. As A.J. Klein made the 50 yards a game of the ground, Helly gets 103 of that. And sliding off the left tackle. He's got it up to the 38-39, lost the football right away, wow. and Iowa State's got it. Wow. Coming away with it, Bernard Banks, the D-back. So right away they strip it from Helly. And a huge break early for the Cyclones if they can make big third down early for Iowa State. Lenz is the motion man. Showing good mobility. Chiller needs some help. And he won't get the first down going out of bounds at about the 35. Let's see where they spot him. So a st state blocked extra point. 52-yard field goal try Grant Mahoney. Does he have enough on it? Yes! yes. What a pick-me-up for Iowa State for a guy that has really struggled lately. The sophomore from Marlin, Iowa. Joel, he is one of seven. They've got experience in the secondary. Now plenty of time, and the same target, Brandon Kenny, the sophomore from Kansas City. And he's got a first down in front of... Field position for Iowa State today, short field, long field. 80 yard, yard and a half, short side option pitch for his career. Carry Trey Robinson, good job. The true freshman from the Fort Worth suburb of Euler's Tech. Now they're back in the gun. Need four, four and a half yards for the first down. It's third down, that's why they're in the gun. Pelu chipping away in the backfield, lead oh. too tall. And he had Mike McNeil, his tight end, wide open. Tiller coming into the game, only 26 throws. And out of the edge. He won't make it. Put down by Sean Fisher. Two Then Iowa State can handle. Now, can now Nebraska getting at least field goal range. Niles Paul making a miss. What about a first down? He's got it. Inside the 30, down to the 28. Brought down by Teron. Making calls, recognition, and communication. Third and about six. Lee a ton of time and finds it. He's got the tight end, McNeil. He double clutched it, and he had McNeil earlier. So he's got a first and goal down to the seven. Captain. That says it all. It'll be Robinson. He's in. Touchdown, Nebraska. So Trey Robinson with his first career carry earlier today and now his first career score. And Mike Caputo, power football for the touchdown. Mike Caputo, former walk-on who you're talking about. A scholarship and all welcome them. It's, it's one of the great places to watch college football. They understand their football, Joel, no doubt. Good call, a read by Tiller, and he's got the first down. The ball and moving it moves like the defensive lineman. Third and 11. Room to roam. Ran out of room, and on his way down. Sue is there, but it was really Jean Gomes who got to him first. Championships, what do you remember most about those years? Uh, the fans, you know, the fans are the, the greatest in college football here at, uh, at the University of Nebraska, and uh, it's just an odd. Here comes a blitz off the edge, and Lee gets it out to Paul. He's got the first down. Boy, and Lee took a pop at the end of the play. It goes down to the 36, and he knew he was going to get it. Four straight completions for Lee. And it's Mendoza. who made a catch earlier in the drive and making a miss. He only had two carries coming in. The sophomore from Houston, Marcus Mendoza. You tell me. As well because of that shoulder stinger. A gain of seven going back the other way. A little kick out screen. And another first down as they go to Middle League. Lee is six of six so far on this series. Deflection is it taken in? Wow. Still battled, and they say Sims has a pick and never hit the ground. David Sims comes away with it, the strong safety. He went for McNeil after it was deflected originally by Jesse Smith. So exactly. that was a volleyball. 
Jesse Smith's the one that started the down. The field is confirmed. First down, Iowa State. And then the first down with all the return yards, it doesn't come back inside the five. Good call. And that's a good job by the replay system. They wanted to make sure of two things. Was it an interception? Did the ball never hit the ground? No, it didn't. Okay, when, when Sims controlled the ball, was his right knee off the ground? Yes. So, Very close on that. Yeah. In that was State. On third down, one of four, and it's Ooh. deflected and punched away from Jake Williams. Right. Well, they have had the field position, and right now, Iowa State is completely handcuffed, and it's a fake, wow. and Brandner's got a lot of room to run across the 40, 45, 50, out of bounds, he goes. Smart play, first down, a, what a gamble, and a, a Brandner down to the 47 of Nebraska. Tiller on the play fake. He got blocking, and going for the bundle, he's got Williams, touchdown, Iowa State! Jake Williams, they strike big after the gamble. Absolutely, they went right for the jugular, and they did a great job. And it was a, a scenario where the receiver found the football, and the defender didn't. I think it was Eric Hag back there that could not find the football. The receiver does a good job of falling for the, for the fakes on the play action. That's been the Achilles heel. Grant Mahoney is not automatic. Whoa. It's blocked. It could be returned. Instead, it goes out of bounds. I said Nebraska on their third down tries. Just now going deep. Paul's there. Paul's got it over the shoulder. 30. And I believe bumped out of bounds. Lost the football. Loses it again. And it is covered by Iowa State in the end zone. Big play. Touchback. Getting back. James Smith didn't quit on it. Touchback. I thought he was out of bounds, though. Yeah, so was we he, might see the review. Was he out of bounds and did the ground call? Good pocket protection. Tiller can run for it, but he oh, lost it, and it's picked up. Nebraska gets it Crick. back quick. Jared yep. Crick got it. Turner forced it. So a takeaway finally for Nebraska is they're going to have it. That was Cody Green, true freshman, backup quarterback on the sideline. Six straight misses now for Zach Lee on a third down. Yep, a seventh straight miss. As he looked over to the far side for Wes Kamek. His first look. You saw the interception. You saw the fumble. I mean, one step forward, two steps back. Are they going to waste this field position? No. That time, Kenny hangs on. The sophomore from Kansas City. It'll be a first down to the 34. So he's leaning a little bit early. Exactly on first and 10. Out of the timeout. With a stop drop. Van Paul's got it. Hangs on. He's got it down to the ninth. Tough I kid. He, I wonder if he's having some issues. It's Heller making a miss inside the five. First and goal. Looked pretty good on that one. He lost it. Yeah, he lost it, but yeah. it was down. It was a bounce. Right, but I'm saying, even when he goes to the ground, the ball's coming up. I'm wondering if he is having... It's out on his way it's, down. It's turning. When he takes that shot, the ball's turning. It's it's starting to move out of his arm. And, and, and he starts to try to recover it. He knows he's got to try to possess it as he hits the turf, and he doesn't possess it. The ball came out prior to the runner being down. The ball was immediately recovered by Iowa State in the end zone. By rule, they take possession of all that spot. Touchback, first down, Iowa wow. State, 20 yard line. Next snap with the play action pass for a touchdown. Now, out of the gun. Tiller on the move, and Lenz was popped as the ball came in. So did the D back, Matt O'Hanlon. Time throughout the season. Trey Robinson cutting it back effectively, and he's short of the first down by about a yard and a half. The rook, and I say, own side. Shift the tight end through Young. So strong side, right side. Robinson goes that side. And he meets James Smith in the secondary after the gain of about seven. Keith Williams, a junior from St. Louis, who's McClure North High School, the left guard with Tyler, Tyler Legate, the fullback. And now running with good vision. Trey Robinson gaining confidence and gaining a first and goal. Lost the football. End of the play. Oh, Iowa wow. State says they took it away. Wow. And they did. James Smith has it. Do you believe it? Wow. Two huge recoveries for James Smith. He teamed up in the first half with Leonard Johnson. Leonard Johnson kind of tripped up the receiver. So far out of 15 snaps, Iowa State this half, 12 of them have been runs. And just battling, Schwartz has the first down. He ran through a couple of tackles at this line of scrimmage. Dillard was at the bottom of one of them. 49 as they trail by two. Short one. 
And a low throw popped into the air off the fingertips of Darius Darks. He was available to stop more from Austin and Tiller up seven years in a row. So now on third and long. Looking one way, going back the other way. Middle screen, oh, knocked out. away. It's out. Iowa State's got it again. Amazing. Took it away from Holt. Amazing. Wow. Christopher Lyle on the hit and coming up with it, David Sims. That's Sims' second. He had an interception on a deflate. Remember, he's one of seven kickers in the country that's hit from 50 more than once. Now Tiller needs uh -oh. four. Look out. On his back, it was Barry Turner. So Barry Turner forced the mid and 50. He's already at a 52 yarder. This is a 49 yard attempt. Blocked. And it's blocked again. Picked up. Loose ball going the other way. Sue got the block. Yep. Look out. Husker down the sideline. It is brought back That's by Sean Fisher. That's a horse Sean ball. Fisher with the return. Man. They celebrate Lincoln. Field goal range right now, don't forget. Lee. Underneath, dropped. Niles, Paul, do you believe it? Yeah, he took his eyes off. Third and about six, almost seven. Little lane to the right. Go Taylor makes off. a miss. Look out. First down. Across the 20. And they had him in the backfield. He escaped. 6-3. I told you. First down here. They can take him with two minutes off the clock. Moving the pocket. And on the comeback route of first down, it's taken in by Marquise Hamilton. So they're just slugging it out with him. Quickly out to Lenz. Lenz blocked from the wide receiver. Another first down. And how about the work downfield of Marquise Williams? Arts play of the game, by the way, here with five minutes for both Iowa State and the Blackshirts. Middle screen. Lenz, the wide receiver, won't get there. It'll be a punt from the 45. Sue again. He's been down on Zach Lee. Man, almost movement on the right side for Nebraska. Middle of the field available. Oh. Too tall. Intercepted. Wow. O'Connell's going the other way. Mike O'Connell and another turnover by Nebraska may cost them their second straight conference game at home. I'll tell you what, that ball's got to be caught. Gillen just, the ball splits his hands. I mean, that's a catchable football. And I know what's going to happen. Zach. Now the ball game. Third and nine. Schwartz up the middle, and they'll leave it up to the defense. Nebraska will stop the clock for a final time and use their last time. Out with a minute 59 to play. I mean, he got stymied, but he got his hand up. Third and 10. Pocket protection. Zare for Lee going for the bundle. O'Connell's there. Battered away by the safety. Intended for Niles Paul. Very exactly. And Nebraska back at their own 17. Ton of time over the middle, intercepted. Appropriate ending for Iowa State in a shocker in Lincoln. It'll be their first win, and the player of the game, Jesse Smith, it's fitting. He comes away with it. First win in Lincoln for Iowa State since 1977. And Frere got the pressure on the quarterback. Zach Lee got hit. Top an 11-game losing streak in conference play, and it's all over. They can celebrate. It is official. Iowa State has shocked the football world today. They come into Lincoln and defeat the Nebraska Cornhuskers for the first time in Lincoln in 32 years. Now they got a big assist from Nebraska. Nebraska, I've never seen more self-inflicted wounds. Eight giveaways. But I'll tell you what, Paul Rhodes and his defensive football team had a lot to do with that. And he is thankful, and he should be. He's almost, I bet he's almost speechless right now. They've already matched the win total, Dave, of the previous two seasons in his first year. And this is just a little past the... Tired everywhere. You got people sore everywhere. I couldn't be proud. I could not be proud. No. I am so proud!